What's the stupidest reason you got in trouble in school? For saying my school picture sucked. I had no idea sucked was considered a bad word until I was put in detention for it. For using my asthma medication in class. I was told to keep my inhaler in the office and to use it in there only. I was told it was distracting. No what else is distracting? The sounds of someone gasping for air and having to be removed from class. Someone made a paper airplane out of scrap paper that had been binned. My name was written on the sheet they used. I got sent out the room and handed a punishment exercise. Grad school. As in. Full grown adult. One of my patients was a chill guy. We had one of those relaxed relationships. He would fist bump me after treatment was completed. The Dean of Academic Affairs did not like that. Got a 45 minute lecture on doctor patient relationship and how dare I violate that trust with a fist bump. Someone once poked a wasp nest in the school forest. And the whole swarm came out upon the school. The entire school sat detention for an hour. Understandable if you don't know who did it. But that's not the problem. We were sitting detention because the principal's son got stung. As it eventually turned out, it was actually his fault the swarm came down on us. I have cursed his name since the day I found out. Chasing someone with a purple clip and saying I'm a vampire was elementary. For hugging a crying classmate in the hall. And that one time I typed the word boobies on the calculator in math class. I checked out a book on African tribes from the library in the 4th grade. I told the teacher about how the book had topless women in it thinking I was helping. She confiscated the book and had me suspended from school. I got in trouble for cheating on one of my math exams. The teacher found a piece of paper in my pencil case. I got sent to the principal's office. When the principal asked me about what I wanted to say in my defense, I simply told him to take a look at the note. It turned out to be a shopping list. I was allowed to re. Take the exam the following week. In 1993 the flaming lit song she don't use jelly came out. I was in third grade and I really liked that song. And started signing it with my friends during a double handed jump roping session. She don't use GELI or any of the SE. She uses Vasi line. Boom. Written up. Three day suspension for saying sexually suggestive things. I had no idea that was meant sexually. Worse even. No one would explain why that song was sexually suggestive. It was very confusing. I was drinking tea and my teacher yelled at me to stay home if I am sick. Which I wasn't. Tea. I tripped on a loose tile and bumped into a teacher causing her to spill her coffee on herself. I apologized and showed her the tile. She went on for months about how I did it on purpose. Even got the principal and my folks involved. For the rest of the year she told me I couldn't come back to her class unless I apologized for doing it on purpose. Never went back to her class. Though I initially apologized for the incident. I never once apologized for doing it on purpose. Dakumis. Helm. Correcting a teacher's spelling of congratulations. It was a substitute. And it was English literature. I apparently sighed loudly when a tea. I knew she wasn't very popular walked in the room. I was talking to a friend the opposite side of my table. I once got in trouble for reading Stephen King. They were like you're reading dark books it's the reason your behavior is bad. I yawned. That earned me 30 minutes of you never listen to the lesson properly. For fighting. The school idiot sucker punched me, and I didn't retaliate. It was even caught on tape. The zero tolerance policy is one of the stupidest things ever. I threw a closed pen to my friend, who was like 3 feet away from me, and the teacher freaked out. He made a big deal out of it in front of the whole class for a solid 5 minutes, and then emailed my parents. Luckily my mom was able to see my side of things and she said, doesn't that teacher have better thing? To do than email me about my child throwing pens. We still laugh about it from time to time. I got ice. In school suspension. Basically detention during school hours. For being in a food fight even though I wasn't. They said I was a part of it. Because I dropped some crumbs from my cupcake onto the floor. 
One time I had to spend an entire day without shoes, because I wore black safety boots instead of black shoes to school. Dude sucker punched me in gym class. I never even got a chance to defend myself, or fight back before the teacher stepped in. I got suspended for fighting. In middle school, the bell to send us home didn't go off on time. We were all standing by the door waiting to leave when all the other classrooms started leaving to go home. The hallways were filled, and teachers were telling people goodbye. So my classroom started to leave too. I was one of the first ones out but apparently our teacher caught the end half of the class, and made them sit down, and tell them everyone who walked out the door, because I dismiss you, it, not the bell. So all of us who left like the rest of the school got detention. I didn't tie my shoes the way the P.E. instructor wanted me to. In 11th grade, sat in the dean's office for an hour, before they called my mom whose response I still remember. You're calling me during my work day, to ask my son, to tie his shoes in a way that a P.E. teacher feels suitable. Are you ducking kidding me? I played AAA hockey at the time along with varsity lacrosse. P.E. class was the least of my worries let alone how my shoes were tied. Safe to say I didn't have to re-tie my shoes. Clearing my throat, before reading out loud to the class, she yelled at me, and threatened attention, because she thought I was faking it for attention, but I don't see how. Also more context I was a quiet kid, so I wasn't one to create drama to begin with, but it just made me not want to talk more than I already didn't want to edit. Bruh this blew up a lot. Shout all to all my quiet and awkwardly shy homies out there who feel the pain of being reprimanded for the rare times we actually do talk. T my friend once got in trouble for a small sigh after the teacher said we got more homework or more work to do. Can't really remember. She ended up getting sent out of the classroom for it. I was sent to the principal in 6th grade for arguing with my teacher when she insisted that Hitler was a communist. The principal literally did a facipum, but then pulled himself together and lectured me on being more respectful. First one. I was waving my fingers to try to get a stuck sticky paper off of it. The principal was passing my class and saw me through the door. He thought I was throwing rocks in a class at the back of my friend head. I got suspended for that. Second one. My math teacher, when I was 14 years old had something against me. At the beginning of each class she would ask me to go into the corridor for 15 minutes that was her idea of a punishment. She didn't even bother to find a reason. I just had to get out. Failed an in-class project cause no one would let me join their group. The teacher told me to get over it and find a group. Which led to a group of popular kids tell me that I'm a loser. Fun times in school. At my elementary school, they didn't really have any stuff to play with outside, so we would play with sticks, rocks, pine cones, etc. But they didn't like that, so they would send us to sit at the wall for all of recess, if we got caught. God, it was weird. I got called down to the office for skipping a class I didn't have. With a teacher I never had. Edit. It was a mistaken identity. We had the same last name but completely different first name. He is also a different nationality. Race. I got called down to the office about skipping class. I hadn't so I was like, what? I asked what class? And when they said what it was, I told them I didn't even have that class. They let me go shortly after. I got sent to the principal for saying whatever to a supervisor on the school bus. We had a substitute and everyone was playing around when we were supposed to do work. Well, the sub didn't care. However my friend Preston decides to whip his D out literally in class and he got expelled. I got in trouble by my football coach. Assistant principal because I stood there and laughed. For our writing warm up activity in 8th grade I wrote about a serial killing penguin who had mental health issues and got told to read it aloud. The got detention once for not pledging my allegiance to the Amazon rainforest. No joke we sang a song and the lyrics were, we've got to buy back the Amazon. We've got to give the earth a chance to carry on. If it's money they need, let's give them all that they want. We've got to buy back the Amazon. And as a 9 year old, 
I thought this seems to be a little much. I didn't sing. And bam. Got detention. Trying to start a fire. Which led to me getting an hour detention. And having to stay for the rest of the lesson in isolation. I, but why did they think I tried to start a fire? Cause in a science lesson I rubbed two sticks together reddit. WTF how have I got nearly one. Zero 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 up votes. Damn this is the most I've ever got so thanks. A couple of girls were on the swings. And I stood in the middle of them hanging out. I picked up a handful of wood chips and dropped them in front of the girls as they swing by. I did it a couple of times and they laughed and never told me to stop. Get back to class and they told the teacher I was throwing wood chips at them. A big issue in that school. Got in pretty big trouble for that one.